24 hours and we want to have them running pretty much continuously. So pretty much always one is running. What is that what it looks like? About four feet tall with this hood thing. This hood thing just prevents the rain, presumably, from getting in. Open up the hood. Gotta open the latches first though. Open up the hood. And then we'll see actually the the device that is helping us to do the size selection for the aerosol particles that we want to evaluate. Below it is just a, a funnel that then leads to uh, the pump, which is actually a high-speed blower. So by blowing air out the one side, we basically create a vacuum on the other. but also this brown color. And this looks a lot like rust, so there's a good possibility that it might be iron oxides from dust and whatnot that was long range transported to here. So once I pick up the filter, you can see there's another set of slots, and they're offset for that size selection. So the size selection is something like um, all the, all the uh, particles that are 2.5 microns or less can make that bend because they behave more like gases than larger particles. Larger particles have a little bit too much momentum, so they are the ones that we see crashed out here in this nice little line right below the slot. So I wrap this filter back in the foil as nice as I can. It's really kind of sticky sometimes with the gloves. The gloves stick to the, to the foil, so it's a little bit... It's a little bit tricky to make it nice and neat. Alright, so that one's set. And I'll put it underneath. And now... just a tiny bit which kind of goes along with the theory that I had that maybe what we were seeing on the other filter was dust from long-range transport. And the dust is typically going to be a little bit larger than 2.5 microns. And so what I like to do is I like to try to get these flies off of here because this filter is going to be wrapped up and then shipped back to the U.S we'll do more chemical analyses on it. We'd rather not analyze bug parts. As cool as that might be for some people. <laughs> So 
So I'm right in the date range uh, that the three samplers were running. And then I'm putting here that it was sample B because we have a data record that is associated with this specific sampler. So we'll know exactly when it was running and how much volume uh, was pulled through the sampler. Last notes on this particular label. And again, it's the date range. initials, clear, day, small bugs, observed, and removed. Just make a little note there in case somebody doesn't check the notebook immediately when they're looking.